everybody and welcome to another day of vlogmas so oh my goodness it's literally i don't even know i think it's like 9 40 ish because i woke up a bit later today i just prayed and i read my bible and today is december 15th which is absolutely crazy i literally can't believe it like the last time that i vlogged on this channel was december 1st and i was like okay i'm pretty sure i'll vlog again like before christmas and it's already december 15th i can't believe christmas is literally next friday like that blows my mind but i really wanted to vlog today because i'm going to the hairdressers again i always seem to vlog like when i'm going to get my hair done so i thought i would vlog that again and other than that i'm probably just gonna work on my essay and i have a connect group with my church online tonight so that is my plans for today so this is what my hair looks like currently my roots have gone dark again and the rest of it's like kind of blondish so i'm basically just gonna get my roots more blonde again i'm gonna touch up these like layers on the side of my face because they've gone really long again and i'm also gonna like change the length of my hair because it's really long and like the ends of my hair are just really dry so i'm gonna get the ends of my hair cut off basically so it's currently like 9 48 and i usually just go on my phone for a bit and Little Nala's right here, she's been cuddling me all night, it was just so cute. <laughs> guys so i just finished eating my breakfast and now i'm back in my room and charlie's in here because our living room is currently very crazy because we're like changing the fireplace and we're changing the wallpaper yeah so i'm just in my room now and I'm, i think i'm gonna make some presents because i got these jars in the mail yesterday and i basically want to fill them with encouraging things bible verses like i don't know just different things like that and give them to some different people in my life because i always like to do like some sort of like personalized presence so i've got some paper here and i'm just gonna start filling them with tons of encouraging messages so yeah <laughs> so it was really awkward i just like got out my camera and there was like a man standing right there like watching me bring out the camera i was like oh my god <laughs> this is so embarrassing but anyways we arrived at the little seaside town where our hairdressers is it's absolutely stunning here it's so sunny today as well like it's been raining all week and it's finally actually really sunny so i'll show you guys the seaside and it's just so pretty i love being near the ocean like if you know me you know that i love the water i love lakes anything like that it just reminds me of god's creation so much so anyway we have a bit of time before our appointment so we're just going to walk around the seaside and then we will go to the hairdressers <laughs> So I am back from the hairdressers and this is what my hair looks like. I absolutely love it. I know the lighting isn't the best but it's so much brighter especially at the roots because before as you saw like it was really dark and obviously it's a lot shorter as well like before it was like to here so I absolutely love it. I haven't had my hair this short in so long but it just feels so fresh, so nice. And as you guys know, my hair is so thick. So this is such a nice change. I got it thinned out, I got some layers. I made these like front pieces a bit shorter as well. And I'm just so happy with it. My mom also got her hair done. So we got it done together. And after that, we went to McDonald's and I just got some like chicken strips because I'm really hungry. Um, and I'm also going out with my church connect group in like literally like half an hour. So I just wanted to eat something before I go. But I'm really excited because in England, like we're 
in tier three so you can still meet up with like a certain group of people i think it's like six people i don't really know so we're gonna meet up in a park and get some fries and just hang out together and i'm really looking forward to that because i haven't seen some of the people in my connect group for so long and they're like all of my really good friends so i'm so excited to see them i wish my boyfriend josh was in my connect group but he isn't sadly so i won't be able to see him but i'm sure i will see him um, I think I'm saying on a Friday. It's tough, like, I'm so happy that, you know, I don't live too far away from my boyfriend, but throughout the week, I do miss him a lot, and I only usually see him, like, on the weekends, so throughout the week, I'm like, I miss him a lot. <laughs> Comment down below if you can relate to that because I know I am not the only person that feels like that. I'm just going to take some pictures of my mum for her website because she has her own like holistic health business so I'm just going to help her out with that and then I'm going to get ready to go because Iona is picking me up and we're going to connect group. So it is currently like 5.30 and I'm just waiting for Iona to pick me up for this walk and I thought I would get really bundled up and she's bringing Josh's like huge puffy coat because I'm gonna absolutely be freezing and if you didn't know Iona is Josh's sister so that's pretty cool but yeah anyways I'm wearing this like beanie from H&M and it's kind of annoying that I have to ruin my hair because it's so cold but <laughs> it'll be fine really thick scarf that I think is also from H&M and New Look and then I'm just wearing my mustard colour jumper with my the same jeans as I wore before um, but I really just wanted to be all warm and cosy and we're gonna go to this park and I think we're gonna eat fish and chips together and then just talk about Jesus and have fun so I'm very excited <laughs> We just arrived. We just arrived for our walk. Are you excited? Yes, I'm going to call my fiance. Very cute. Watch you won't pick up. I left him a voicemail today saying you're bad at picking your phone. <laughs> I hope he picks up. It's raining now as well, so rip. We'll still have fun. Hey everybody, so I just got back from my walk with my connect group and it was so much fun. We went to like this park that's about like half an hour away and basically when you go to the top of the hill, you guys probably saw it in the clip that I took. I think I only took like one clip the whole time because it was like really dark. But when you got to the top, you got to see like all the lights of the city and it was so pretty. I genuinely love like going on walks like that and it was so fun because like obviously we've been doing like connect group online and things like that so it's really nice to actually see each other in person so i'm very happy hello nala nala's coming to say hi to me and say hi to the camera she's so cute just came in and opened my door to say hello she's so cute i knew right now it is currently like almost nine o'clock and I didn't do any of my essay today so I'm definitely going to do that tomorrow and hopefully get it finished by tomorrow, I'm hoping. That's like my goal is to get it finished by tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I think right now I'm just going to make some hot chocolate and then probably just relax and do a bible study so yeah let's go hey guys so it is currently 9 8 and i was gonna make a hot chocolate but there's no more oat milk left which is very sad especially because i just went on a really freezing cold walk and i just really feel like some hot chocolate but you know what there isn't any so i'm not gonna be salty about it <laughs> um even though i did feel kind of salty before i'm not gonna lie i'm not even gonna lie um but i think right now i'm gonna do my bible study for the day because i haven't done it yet and um, I'm currently reading through Matthew and it's the December Bible plan, which is right here. I will link it down below if you guys want to follow along as well. But yeah, I honestly really love the Matthew study. I think um, I'm just discovering so much more from these verses and I don't know, like I just love how the Bible is living. I love how that every single time you read it, you get something new out of it and I just feel like God has been revealing so much to me through this study, so I'm excited to do uh, mine tonight. So I'm going to listen to this playlist called Worship Now on Spotify, which I always listen to when I do my Bible study. And as always, I have my journal and my Bible right here. And today it is the 15th of December. So I'm reading Matthew 14 verses 22 to 36. So I will see you guys after my Bible study. Hey guys, so I just finished doing my Bible study for today and oh my goodness guys, this Bible story today literally is incredible and it's literally a preach in itself, it's absolutely 
incredible oh my word i love it and basically it's the story when jesus walks on water and he calls peter to come out on the water and to walk with him and i think what really stood out to me is the fact that um the disciples were scared when they're on the boat and it says jesus immediately and then later on when um peter was sinking it says Jesus immediately again and I just love that and that's like such a reminder to me that like Jesus is with me that God is Emmanuel and that he's with me in every single situation that he's not far away that he's immediately gonna come to my rescue and my help and I just love that and the other thing that really stood out to me that I've heard said before is um, when Peter got on the water, when he had his eyes fixed on Jesus, he was fine and he was walking on water. It's only when he took his focus off of Jesus that he began to sink and that is just like a preach in itself. Like I said, like literally like if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus then you know we'll be with him, we'll be walking on that water, we'll be thriving but when we take our eyes off of Jesus that's when things start to go wrong and that's when we, we begin to sink um, in the metaphorical waters of our life and and I just think that is just so incredible and I just love that God is Emmanuel that he's always beside us and that we can always count on him and um, I just love how every single Bible story shares something different and that every time you read it you get something different out of it even though it's just like a couple of verses like you still get something new out of it every time you read it and that is just insane like literally wow like the Bible is so incredible so my desk is like kind of messy right now because I was doing these like presents earlier um but i'll finish these probably on thursday after i finish my essay um but i really love making these jars so i'm excited to continue making these but i'll just kind of like move the stuff out of the way because it's everywhere and guys i'll show you something i don't know if josh watches my vlogs um i don't know i think he watches some of them but basically i got some pictures printed out um of me and josh when we went to paris and just some like other cute pictures that i really love and um basically for his christmas present if josh if you're watching this just click out of this video because i don't want you to know this because it was about christmas but anyway i want to um for christmas i got him like a christmas box to put all of his presents in and i want to put these pictures like on the lid of the box so he can like see the pictures when he opens them which is very cute so yeah i've just ordered this one which is one of my favorite pictures of us from paris i just think it's so cute in front of the eiffel tower and let's see this one is in front of the louvre which is so adorable and i don't know about you guys but I've, i really love like having physical pictures that you can actually see like i don't know you can actually hold them and you know what i mean i don't know i don't even know if that makes sense but yeah, this is when we went to Disneyland Paris. Oh, I miss it so much. It's so pretty. Oh my word, this is when we met Stitch and look how cute this is. Like, stop. Like, <laughs> I can't even. And these are just some cute pictures from when we went on a walk somewhere near my house and it was so cold this day, but I just like these pictures because we look so cozy and happy. And yeah, just some other random pictures. I really love this picture. Look how cute that is. This is another one of my favourites. I absolutely love this one. In front of the Eiffel Tower. This is one of my all-time favourites. It's so, so adorable. But anyways, it is now 9.25. So I'm going to go ahead and spend time with my family. And then probably go to sleep. Because I'm really tired, to be honest. But I just wanted to say thank you so much. If you've stuck to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching my vlog. I really enjoy taking you guys along with me on my day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. I love you all so much and remember if you guys ever want to chat about anything or you need prayer please dm me on my instagram it's at melissa and vadimir i'll link it down below if you guys want to follow me and message me on there but yeah i love you guys and i'm always here for you jesus loves you so much and i will see you in my next video bye